How's everybody doing? Good, awesome. My name is Maritza Barros and I am here representing the Cape Verde Islands. Cape Verde, if you are unfamiliar, is 10 beautiful islands on the west coast of Africa. I am here today to talk to you about a passion of mine, a passion that I've had since a very young girl. Since I can remember, I've always wanted to be a teacher. I am not a teacher today, but I consider myself an educator. The core of my mission in life surrounds around education. Without knowledge, you have no power. In my brochure, uh, or in my statement, empower, embrace, and educate is what I stand for. I only have a short time here with you today, so I just want to be clear as to what it is that I'd like to do when crowned Miss Africa USA. I hold a Master's of Science in College Student Development and Counseling. I was able to obtain this degree by the support and encouragement of my father. My, my family originates from the volcanic island of Fogo, but I was born here in the United States. I am one of 13 in my family and one of two to hold a Master's degree. I understand the importance of education. I am here to really hopefully convince you to, to join me in my cause to embrace and empower young students to reach higher, to have higher aspirations. It is not by accident that I stand here today. I believe in divine intervention. There is a reason why this Africa, USA, in its sixth year has come to my attention. I believe that God has heard my cries, he has heard my prayers, and has seen my struggles as I continue to implement, because this is truly something dear to my heart, you don't have to pay me, I do it because I love it. I am an assistant director of admissions for multicultural recruitment at Framingham State. When promoting the university, I do not only promote an education at Framingham State, but I encourage students to not only aspire for a bachelor's, but to go higher for even a PhD, which I myself um, hope to seek in the future. There are two main points. I have a number of visions and plans to execute during my reign, and um, I only have a short time here today, so I'd like to just share two very immediate ones that I'd like to impact college students based on experiences that I was fortunate enough to have as an undergraduate student. Cape Verdean Student Association exists in a number of colleges and universities in the Northeast region. Massachusetts actually holds the, probably the largest Cape Verdean community in the U.S. It makes perfect sense for me, to me, for students at the college, state college uh, university system to be able to have an experience abroad, to gain a global perspective, to understand the advantage they have being born here in the United States. There are tons of Cape Verdean Americans like myself who have not ever visited Cape Verde, who do not know how to speak Creole. A mi ntafala Creole. I visited seven of the 10 islands, including the uninhabited. My first point of action is a pretty bold one, but I would like to seek a meeting in the governor's office in Massachusetts. Bridgewater State University has already made a partnership with the Piaget University in Cape Verde. That university has an opportunity for our students and their faculty to travel abroad. There is no reason why Framingham State and the other eight state universities cannot offer that opportunity in Massachusetts where we have such a cultural base of Cape Verdeans. My second point of action is to ignite a passion within young college students, just young students in general, to give back. I feel that today so many young um, folks in, in the US, in Cape Verde, wherever, they are not remembering that it's not all about I, okay? It is about us. And I want these students to feel that passion. The Edgar Barris Bidon Project is a direct uh, organization or project that I can support. The Edgar Barris Bidon Project is named after my brother. 
who unfortunately uh, passed in a tragic accident in Cape Verde. But my brother did one thing for me before he left this earth. He ignited a fire under me that still burns today. My plan and my mission is to re-energize and ignite a fire under students in college today to give back. And the Edgar Barris Bidon Project, its mission is to actually provide school supplies to the youth in Cape Verde. It's a great way to engage our youth here in America in community service, as well as provide resources of education across to the Cape Verde Islands. So I'm here today because during my visits to Cape Verde, I connected with my roots, my roots to Africa. I am very proud of my Africanity, and I want to spread that pride to other students. So please, help me awaken the youth in America. Help me connect Cape Verde to America. Thank you.